Munsley Fire Brigade was for many years housed in a building in Back Street. Small and quite inadequate for its purpose, it had to serve till 1967 when the present fine building was erected. The early pumps used for firefighting were primitive by our present standards. As Mr. Hayden described on the occasion of the opening of the new premises. My earliest recollection of Munsey Fire Brigade goes back to, oh well, far, far too long to remember, but we did have a peculiar machine which was dragged along by Moy's cool cart horses and it consisted of a beam which went up and down and out came the water if you were lucky. However, this early machine was eventually superseded by a much more up-to-date appliance. The inadequate building in Back Street still had to serve for the next trailer pump, which was allocated to Munsley on the formation of the National Fire Service at the beginning of the war. This was a very efficient pump. In fact, its output often exceeded the available water supply.
Yes. At the opening ceremony of the new station, Mr. Hayden gave many interesting facts about the Munsley Fire Brigade and concluded by saying, We have here tonight with us Mr. Reynolds, who has served in the Munsley Fire Service for 41 years. The Fire Service Committee felt that as a tribute to the firemen of Norfolk and in particular to Mr. Reynolds personally, that I should, after having done all the talking, that I should hand over these scissors to him and ask him formally to open the station on our behalf. After the exercise, the hoses recently in use have to be drained and dried. For this, they are run up to the top of the tower, where they will hang for a day or two, according to the weather. All equipment must be left in immediate readiness, so spare lengths of hose will be packed onto the fire engine. At the new fire station, it is possible to run the fire engine out through the full width door at the back whenever it is required to check or service the equipment or to fill its own water tank. 400 gallons of water are carried. This is one great advantage of the present equipment over the old trailer pump. This water is instantly available on reaching a fire while in the meantime connections to fire hydrant or to other sources of water supply are being made. A portable motor pump is also carried. This can be handled by two men and taken to positions which the fire engine itself could not reach. operations are under control from the rear of the fire engine and all the hose connections are made by rapid clip-on joints, the only screw connections being on the large suction hose.
a normal exercise to be ready at all times for a thing which we hope, after all, will never happen.